Hi everyone, it is September 22nd, 2018, the gamification, the gamification of tyranny, the surveillance state, America, China, China, America. I can't believe that there are so many Americans who actually believe that they are free, that they live in a free country, and that the United States of America is, well, it changed a little bit, but it's still essentially the same. It is so not the same. We live now in China, and that is cementing itself, the tyranny, the uh, control over citizens, the surveillance of citizens. We need Americans to take, to really kind of take a, a different look at what is happening here in our country. Can we get them to do that? No. No. Because they're just too comfortable. And when you think about what has happened, have you, any of you thought, you know, what do citizens in other countries that are quote unquote these communist countries what are they thinking what what you know um, are they recognizing what their country does you know I've thought so often about the Germans and Hitler and the Nazis and and the the takeover the radical changes that Germans went through before and during World War II. What were they thinking? And then Russians. What are they thinking? What are the Chinese thinking? I think Americans had a very, very different psyche than an awful lot of people around the world. But their country has changed. Our country has changed significantly. It has turned into a fascist, uh, fascist, do I want to say dictatorship? Well, uh, these executive orders are a sign of a dictatorship. Our president's just writing legislation via their executive orders. But we also know that the president is a puppet and they're not the ultimate dictator. Wow. Isn't it a wow to be living this time? China, their rating system of all citizens. We have that going here now. <laughs> Guys, I can't believe, you know, since I started this video, I've got to tell you, something has happened. Uh, am I being hit with frequencies? My hearing has gone into kind of like this hollow um, shell, and I'm getting an echo. Now it stopped, but I was getting an echo of my own self in my head as I was speaking. So it was very hard to really concentrate. And of course the buzzing continues. Sorry, I just, sometimes I have to say things just to kind of, you know, get it away um, so that I can go on. Now I'm going to go on. All right, we all know about China's rating system for all citizens, scores based on professional conduct, corruption, type of products bought, peers' own scores, tax evasion, and how the social credit uh, system in China is used to marginalize and stigmatize and punish citizens, especially if they criticize the state, uh, the communist government, says the system and its massive database will allow trustworthy the trustworthy to roam freely under heaven while making it hard for the discredited 
to take a single step. And it's already happening. Yeah, I posted a video on um, Li Hu. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce this journalist's name, but he received a negative score and was blacklisted for criticizing China's political corruption. He is under house arrest, his social media accounts were shut down, and he is unable to travel, which is reminiscent of the travel restrictions placed on dissidents in the Soviet Union. Oh, and how about that United States? Huh. Well, before I get to that, let me just detail what actually goes on with the social credit system that they got. Um, they scrutinize online activity. They act on tips by snitches. The system will tap into China's sprawling network of surveillance cameras, said to number around 200 million across the country. But also realize that the United States has been buying surveillance cameras from China and installing them in the United States. Wow. So China is our enemy, right? Why would we purchase surveillance cameras from China and install them here in the United States when they could easily be hacked by China? Well, we all know the answer to that because these governments, uh, they are all working in unison to bring about the new world order. Um, but facial recognition, recognition will ID individuals and follow their every move in search of behavior worthy of a low score. Those gaining a high score will be allowed access to credit facilities, cheaper public transport, even shorter wait times at hospitals, and those with the low score, they'll be banned from travel, decent employment, and can be put on house arrest. Um, the NSA here in our fabulous free country, the NSA and its contractors are collecting our most private and intimate information. Why? Why are they doing that? And travel bans have already been enforced through no-fly lists. And these are imposed on political activists as well as it, the innocent caught up in the surveillance system. You can lose your position at a university for thought, thought expressed on social media, uh, considered unacceptable to a politically correct orthodoxy. We've seen that happen. We are China. This is happening here in the United States. The state intervenes when a business concern refuses to sell products to people the seller finds objectionable. In numerous ways, the state hinders bans, criminalizes behavior in parasitic fashion. The end result being overcrowded industrial prisons and a bounty in revenue generated uh, via fines, assessments, penalties, taxes. Our social media accounts are scoured by the NSA, FBI, CIA for any sign of political misdeed. We've seen in this country people picked up based on comments that they have posted on Facebook We've seen people picked up and thrown into psychiatric institutions in the United States based on comments that they have posted on Facebook. Americans do nothing. They're watching the takeover of what was the freest country in the world, and Americans do nothing. They're just letting it happen. Wow. It really is a wow to live this time. The state is able to monitor our behavior online in real time. It has turned our cell phones into tracking devices. The tech giants often collaborate with the state. The tech giants are right. They are state. 
Uh, they hand over our data without a constitutionally mandated search warrant. Well, the Constitution is dead. It's been dead for a long time. What they do in Washington, D.C. is, is uh, pretend. They act like we still have three separate branches of government. They act like we have a Constitution. But if you really kind of do the research and and observe what has been taking place in our country, certainly since 9-11, you will see, wow, okay, police state, fascism, uh, totalitarianism, uh, the end of the Constitution, and the picking up of innocent people and throwing them in jail, or a psychiatric institution. The latest signpost of ever-encroaching corporate government fascism can be seen in the social media purge which through evolution will ultimately remove all content from the internet deemed extremist by the state and for the state that is everybody right or left who moves beyond permissible perimeters set by the state that's exactly what is taking place right now. A huge internal security apparatus, little different than what was used in the Soviet Union, is growing in size, arming itself to the teeth against the citizenry. Look at what's happening in North Carolina and South Carolina. You've got the Air Force, you've got the Marines, you've got the Army. A lot of people are leaving comments saying, you know, this is the, the responsibility of the National Guard, not the Army, not the Marines, not the Air Force. You're absolutely right, except what you may not know is that the National Guard has been usurped by the U.S. Army. It's no longer a, a, uh, a National Guard that governors of states control. We've centralized control. And yeah, we are absolutely, you know, living a military takeover. And you're seeing it in North Carolina. I'm sorry. You know, they create the problem, which is they've created, manufactured this hurricane, and then they send in our troops. But we have to face our fellow Americans who refuse to even think anymore, refuse to even consider what we have been telling them. And it is very upsetting. You know, if you like your freedom and you have already experienced that freedom being encroached upon, you've already experienced, you know, uh, being told what you can and cannot do, You've already experienced the financial destruction, your own independent, you know, uh, individual financial destruction. Then you see it more clearly what is taking place. And you know, <laughs> this bite really hurts. So this internal security apparatus, you know, even the Washington Post had a special series on the security apparatus being built here in our country. And that was during the Obama years. That was many, many years ago. It was an in-depth investigation of this security apparatus already in place with all of these private contractors, the fusion centers, um, and how many people were getting security clearances in our country. Hundreds of thousands were getting security clearances because they had to operate, you know, their local fusion center and, and their, the, the local private you know, companies that were involved in this security apparatus. It's here. And it's, it is. Um, it may have a different look to what China is doing, 
or it may not. We're not in China. We don't know what it looks like, you know, to their citizens. It may look exactly like what's happening here. Um, you know, it, yeah, it's arming itself to the teeth and deputized local law enforcement and showered it with all kinds of weapons, turning local police into armies controlled by the federal government. Once you centralize control, you've got tyranny. You've got a dictatorship. You've got totalitarianism. That's what we're living. And most believe we live in a democracy. I'm so tired of listening to this word democracy. We live in a constitutional republic. You know, it, this, uh, you know, socially engineering a populace with the use of language. It was, I remember in the early 80s, suddenly hearing every politician and people, they were calling this country a democracy, 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 democracy. And it was a const. It, it, it well, it was founded as a constitutional republic. Those two things are very different. But when you talk to an ordinary American, and I have, and they don't even know what a constitutional republic is. They don't know that we are a constitutional republic. They're like. Well, ignorance will kill us. Um, so while this author says it isn't in your face like China's social credit system, I'm not too sure about that. But the end result approaches what China is after total control of the population, removal of all serious political opponents challenging the state's hegemonic rule. That is what's happening. When you see Apple is quietly giving people trust scores based on their iPhone data, what? Okay, so um, trust scores for people based on how they use their iPhones and other devices. Trust scores, social credit scores, China the trustworthy citizens will live in heaven, while the untrustworthy citizens will live in hell. Get Apple, Google, Facebook, YouTube, all of these companies work hand in hand with the state. They are government, they are not private companies. So the tech giant Apple last month became the first public company to be worth more than one trillion dollars um, 757 billion euros they updated their privacy policy that the scores would be determined by tracking the calls and emails made on the Apple devices not just your iPhones oh but your Apple TVs. Your Apple TVs? They have Apple TVs? Um, well, they didn't announce that it would be, you know, an Apple TV device. So it's not, they're monitoring everything. Everything. And these TVs, you know, Samsung, we all know, have their, uh, is it Samsung? They their TVs are actually watching the people in their homes. Do you think it's only Samsung? No. It's, it's all devices today. But what are they doing here? Apple said the rating system, China's rating system, Apple has a rating system. It could be used to help fight fraud. Though specific examples of how this would work, Apple doesn't give you. Uh, to help identify, prevent fraud, information about how you use your device, including the approximate number of phone calls or emails you send and receive, will be used to compute a device trust score when you attempt a purchase. Okay, so 
do you get how, all right, the number of phone calls and emails I send and receive is going to determine a trust score based on uh, a trust score so that when I go to buy a product, they'll be able to determine whether or not I am buying the product or somebody else is buying the product through my iPhone or credit cards or whatever. Are you kidding me? How does that work? It doesn't. But people can't think anymore. Um, and do you think it's just the number of phone calls and emails? Or are they reading the content and listening to your phone calls? Of course they are. You can't, you, based on the number of calls and emails, you can't determine, determine a trust score. Trust is, well, content. So Facebook now also has a new home gadget it's selling with a creepy camera as its main feature. And I'll link below to this. You can check it out. But, yeah, it's called Portal. <laughs> Portal. And it's hooking up with Amazon, Facebook and Amazon. Wow, okay. Alexa, it's hooking up with. But what is this portal? It is a camera that follows you around your home, tracks your voice, and while Facebook says you can turn it off, well, we all know that you can turn off your phone. Oh, but somehow it's still tracking you. So these turn off features, they can be turned on by Facebook or you know, Google or whatever, iPhone, uh, Mac, uh, Apple. So we're stuck in this surveillance state now with nowhere to hide. So recent polls have shown that a majority of Americans don't trust Facebook, but while there have been people who have left Facebook, there's still uh, a whole lot of people on Facebook. They have not changed their behavior at all. At all. They recognize that Facebook is a company not to be trusted, but they don't change their behavior. So Facebook continues to do whatever the hell it wants to do. So this portal, a Facebook-powered, always-on video camera, uh, is that really what you want to install in your home? Think about all of the people with Echo and Alexa. They, these devices, recording everything that you say in your home. Facebook now is going to give you a camera to see everything that's going on in your home. And people buy them. They think, well, I'm not doing anything wrong. I don't care who looks at me. My God. Well, let's listen to what Facebook has to say. The Facebook representative of uh, who is now, you know, on mainstream pushing this portal. Facebook portal, uh, uh, you can think of it essentially like an Amazon Alexa. Okay, you can think of it as an Amazon Alexa, Alexa except with a camera. Sorry, I didn't put up the volume. Here we go. Go into Amazon uh, version of the Echo that has that screen. Um, and it's sort of like an, an iPad on a stick with this uh, camera that uh, is a wide-angle lens that allows the device to use artificial intelligence technology to track people as they walk around the room and, and also, also track their, their sound. So think of you're moving in and out of frame, talking to somebody, somebody over Facebook, and the thing can follow you, uh, and think about your voice, perhaps, in a crowded room. room. So, so you just some nifty AI, AI tricks to, to just have features, features like, like that. that. Um, and it's, it's going, going to have all the you know, normal things, things you would expect from a device like this. You'll be able to look at recipes, look at news briefings, that sort of thing. It is going to feature Amazon Alexa, which I was able to report yesterday, um, and, you know, the pricing is still CDCB, but uh, there's two screen sizes. One will probably be around 300 and the other will be around 400-ish.
So, so Alex, some, some of our viewers, viewers might remember that we were actually, actually supposed to get this in May, May I believe, the announcement we heard, heard earlier in the, in the year. year. So, so why, why the delay in actually releasing it? Yes, yeah, so this was originally going to be announced uh, earlier this year at Facebook's annual developer conference where CEO Mark Zuckerberg told court. But, um, you know, Facebook has gone through uh, probably one of the worst uh, periods of its corporate life uh, in the last 18 months with Cambridge Analytica, a data scandal, with the revelation that uh, Russian operatives used the platform in the 2016 election. So uh, what Facebook realized really on the eve of that conference was that the optics of releasing a device like this that could potentially track people and follow them in their homes just wasn't a good look. <laughs> So there, Facebook is telling you it's going to track you in your own home and record you. But, it, you know, we had to kind of, you know, not bring it out when, you know, this guy was at a congressional hearing talking about Cambridge Analytica. Are you kidding me? You know what? Um, someone just sent me, a subscriber sent me this uh, local news segment on how genetics now, they can determine what kind of psychiatric medication uh, is best for you by looking at your DNA. Oh, really? But in that, the news reporter actually said you know, how great that was because, you know, a whole lot of people, it's been hard to find the right medication and they're trying all these different medications. And she actually said, some liken it to Russian roulette. You hear on commercials, um, the, the list of side effects, the serious side effects of medications, right there on commercials. And death, I actually heard a commercial, death was one of the side effects. Okay, you Americans have no clue what they are doing, clearly. Um, okay, well, death is a side effect, but I need that medication. All right, well, they're tracking us in our homes. W w privacy is gone, but I don't care. I like Portal, and I like Alexa, and I like Echo. So Americans are absolutely tied 100% to this uh, new world that is being created. You cannot, you cannot separate out anything. We are connected to everything that takes place and we need to change our behavior fast. All links are below.